Hello again, and welcome to a special episode of the Ludicrous Leprechaun. You have joined me at a very personal time right now, as I am almost at the climax of a month-long magic energy build-up. And yes, I did mean that to sound kinky. I have had to take some time out from regular posting to focus on my preparations for the highest leprechaun holiday of the year. During this preparation time we have to channel all our magical energy we can muster from our pots of gold to prime ourselves for the big event. I am of course referring to St. Paddy's Day this Saturday. This is the one day annually where we can freely walk about amongst the normies and people do not start chasing us for our pots of gold. It is a kind of unspoken truce, but in return, we have to appear all over the country and use our leprechaun charms to do the impossible. Hold the rain off for a while. That's right, we act as talisman to stop people getting drenched. At least until the parades are finished. After that, you are on your own. So technically we are paranormal umbrellas for the Irish people. Unless of course, the assigned leprechaun has been slighted by people in his specific parade. In which case, they are all screwed. I just wanted to give you all this quick update in case you do not hear from me for a while. You have no idea how incapacitating St. Paddy's Day can be for all Irish people. Do not worry though, I will eventually reappear and continue where I left off. I know a few of my followers are Irish, but even so, I want to wish you all a great St. Paddy's Day weekend. If you want to show your support, give me likes, and in the comments below write, Show us your shamrock. Slam. Thank you.